This video is a developer review of AutoML. It is sort of like a code review, but it encompasses the overall developer experience. So, like a code review, it will be critical, but we will also highlight positive aspects and ways the experience can be improved. I am very proud of the team I guided for this milestone. Claudio, Manny, and Tad went above and beyond for this task. Let's begin. First off, anyone who has had to set up machine learning training and serving APIs about two years ago can definitely appreciate the value AutoML provides. Setting up the training and APIs was a real hassle with so many different moving parts. So thank you, Google Cloud development team. Our team genuinely appreciates your efforts. While some might prefer command lines, the ability to just use a graphic interface is a bonus. It simplifies things. And at first hand, there's nothing wrong with that. Tad suggested we use Obama and Trump tweets as a data set and use AutoML to classify and predict tweets by author. As Claudio pointed out, one thing that is simple is the ability to just send the data. You do not have to delineate between training and validation data, but that is a double-edged sword that can itself turn out to be problematic. It seems that there is a 80-10-10 split between training, tuning, and testing data, according to the docs. However, this was for AutoML Vision. It is a bit unclear what the split was for AutoML Text. More crucially, we needed to know specifically which data was used for which part of the model. We wanted to compare the accuracy of AutoML with some TensorFlow text models. AutoML gave a particularly high result of 99% for a tweet when we tested it. You usually see that high of a result for a piece of data if it was part of the training data originally, but there was no way to know for sure. If it was not part of the training data, it would be a very impressive result. In future versions, the Google Cloud team should let developers know how the data was divided. This information could prove crucial in a variety of scenarios. In addition, Tad pointed out how the lack of ETA info was annoying when importing a simple 100K CSV file. It took over half an hour just to upload, and it was not clear at any point in the process how much of that data was uploaded or how long it would take. Similarly, there was no concrete indication of how long the training would take. As Tad highlighted, in a business setting, if a manager asks a developer how long something will take, a vague answer like several hours or more may be construed as a sign of laziness and reflect poorly on the developer. It would be good if the Google Cloud team assessed the complexity of the data beforehand and provided an ETA window. AutoML was considered both cheap and expensive by the team. The cost was $8 to train a model, which is a bit on the pricey side. As Claudio pointed out, the pricing was not very transparent. Google Cloud provides preemptive instances that are up to 70% cheaper than regular instances. It would be nice to provide this option for developers who are not under a tight deadline and just testing out AutoML. However, one thing that was undoubtedly cheap was the prediction service. A relatively simple REST API is automatically set up. 30,000 free API calls are included, and it is only $5 for up to 5 million requests. We did not test that limit, but it is incredibly cheaper than setting up a dedicated server interfacing with a machine learning model. That's for sure. In essence, AutoML is 
expensive to develop, but really cheap to use operationally. Many found a continuity issue with the onboarding process. If you did not have billing enabled, you were prompted to do so only after having set up the project. But once you did set up billing, you were not redirected to your project. And you had to find your project again in a bit of a roundabout way. And that about wraps it up. We're sorry if this developer review was a bit critical. <laughs> um, everyone in the team is a fan of the service and looking forward to future iterations. We were particularly impressed with the accuracy of the predictions, which we will we'll discuss separately and in depth in future videos when we compare text classification on AutoML versus other options. Thank you for viewing and happy coding.